EVs have had gearboxes since forever. In every EV, between the motor and the wheels, there will be a gearbox of some kind. Now that might be different in, in different vehicles as to where that is, whether it's in the differential or the axle or next to the motor itself. So in this Tesla Model 3 motor, for example, that would have been the rear motor in a, in a Tesla, there's the electric motor and then a nine to one reduction gear set. Then that drives the shafts that go to the wheels. So it's just a single reduction gear, not multiple gears like you'd think of in an internal combustion vehicle. Of course, that's because the EVs can deliver power all through its rev range. It doesn't have this narrow power band that you've got a gear around. So yeah, in this case, in our Land Rovers, we change that to a four and a half to one reduction ratio because then it's going into the differentials in the axles which add another three and a half to one reduction gearing. In the back of this combi we're using a nine to one reduction gear set. You can see the gearbox is kind of the lowest point just here and we'll be using upgraded drive shafts to connect to the wheels. This is a 3D print of the motor and reduction gearbox we use in the Minis and the Mokes. We use two different gear ratios depending on the tyre size of the vehicle. The Mokes are often fitted with bigger 13 inch wheels and larger tyres and for those we use a 7 to 1 reduction gear set. The Minis usually 12 inch wheels, smaller tyres and we use about a 6 to 1 reduction gear set. In this 1958 Corvette we're using a 1.9 to 1 reduction gearbox which you can just see on the back of the motor here and that's because that is going through a uh, upgraded drive shaft into the solid rear axle. We'll play around with the ratios of that differential to get the best drive line performance you know you're balancing takeoff speed you know 0 to 100 speed versus you know top speed and efficiency.